Okay, everybody is able to see the screen, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. So let us see what's uh, today's agenda. So we'll be uh, going through what an enterprise structure is. <clears throat> we'll uh, even see the prerequisites of general ledger, which is the four Cs. I will go through chart of accounts and uh, we'll know what uh, flex fields are. All right. So let's move. So let us see. I think yeah, it's joined. One second. Sabinan has joined, I think. Okay. So this is the business process module, uh, model, uh, structure, and activities. So, see, basically, uh, BPM is a uh, business process management, uh, which is the workflow engine in Oracle Fusion, which helps to drive the approval management in Oracle Cloud. It is basically a complete uh, set of tools for creating, executing, and optimizing business processes. Now, see, uh, this is the uh, BPM work list, okay, to set up an enterprise structure. So, what do we do here is uh, we define the enterprise to get the name of the uh, deploying enterprise and the location of the headquarters. Then we define the enterprise structure. Okay, uh, this is to represent an organization with one or more legal entities. Uh, now, a legal entity is a recognized party with rights and responsibilities given by legislation. Now, legal entities have rights and responsibilities to own property, uh, trade, repay debt, and other compliance rules. We have to define a legal entity for each registered company for which you want to uh, record assets, uh, liabilities, expenses, and income, pay transaction taxes, or perform intercompany trading. Then we define the uh, 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 legal jurisdictions and authorities in which we define information for governing bodies that operate within a jurisdiction. Then comes the uh, legal entities. Here, uh, as I just mentioned what a legal entity is, we define the legal entities and legal oh, reporting sure. units. Hello? I'm on my class. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Uh, is, hello? Uh, the, no, the oh, the somebody is in the call. call. Okay, I think he's attending the call. Fine. Okay. Anyways, ah, we'll okay. continue. So, okay. uh, we define okay. the legal entity okay. and the legal reporting units for business activities handled by Oracle Fusion applications. Then we define the business units. Okay, so uh, business units of an enterprise is to mainly perform one or many business functions that can be rolled up in a management hierarchy. So we, as you, we know that business uh, units are basically, you know, uh, they do the day-to-day -day transactions of all the legal entities. Okay. So a business unit can process transactions on behalf of many legal entities. Normally, uh, it has a manager, strategic objectives, and a level of autonomy and responsibility for profit and loss. Then we define the reporting structures, okay, which includes organization structures, chart of accounts, organizational hierarchies, calendars, currencies, basically your uh, COA, chart of accounts, okay, then ledgers and document sequences, which are used in organizing the financial data for a company. Then we define the chart of accounts, okay, uh, uh, organizational hierarchies and values to enable tracking of financial transactions. Okay, then we also, uh, as you know, in chart of accounts, we uh, define cost center, which is a department within a business to which costs can be allocated. Then comes the uh, ledgers, okay. So we define the primary accounting ledger, which is the main uh, record keeping ledger and any secondary ledgers that provide an alternative account representation of the financial data. Now see, secondary ledger is an uh, optional ledger uh, linked to a primary ledger for the purpose of tracking alternative accounting, right? So a secondary ledger can differ from its primary ledger by using a different accounting method, chart of accounts, or accounting calendar or a, a currency or processing options. Okay, you'll come to know about all these uh, once we start doing the uh, you know, practicals on the fusion instance. Uh, then comes the uh, uh, defining of accounting configurations. Uh, see, this is basically the setup and maintenance work area in the Oracle Fusion applications, uh, which is used to manage the configuration of legal entities 
ledgers and reporting currencies that comprise your uh, whole uh, accounting uh, configuration right then we define the facilities now suppose uh, uh, there is a manufacturing company and uh, you want to define your manufacturing and storage facilities uh, like for your manufacturing it will be your inventory organization and for storage facilities it will be your item organization now uh, suppose if oracle uh, fusion wants to track the items used it will check the uh, uh, you know it, it will check into the storage facility which is the item organizations and not the inventory organization <clears throat> so that's the reason you need to define facilities for each uh, department um, okay or a, uh, basically each department yeah you need to define facilities for your each department then comes the uh, uh, defining of reference data sharing as uh, i discussed in the first class that this is one feature which is you know added in the uh, oracle fusion applications okay so what do we do here we basically uh, you know uh, need to define how data in the applications is partitioned and shared okay so reference data sharing facilitates sharing of configuration data such as jobs and payment terms across organizational divisions or business units now this feature shares common data across business units to avoid duplication and reduces maintenance effort now just let me uh, give you an example of uh, you know how the reference data sharing works okay see here uh, here uh, in the example now in business eb ebs suite uh, payment terms accounting rules depreciation methods etc uh, were shared among business units okay which were called as the operating units in ebs and uh, it's uh, called as business unit in uh, oracle okay so in oracle fusion you are given an option of uh, you know whether to share or partition such data elements now the reference data set feature al allows you uh, to share or partition the data elements between business units uh, or asset books now for example here you can see you can define the receivable payment terms okay which are accessible only in a particular bu okay and you can also define some receivable payment terms which are accessible across multiple business units now uh, if you see in scenario 1 the common reference data okay so the reference see this is a uh, reference data set where, where even you have set it as to a common uh, set okay now the common reference data set is used which allows to share the information across the business units or asset books so say if you have two business units the same you know uh, information will be like the uh, receivable payment term will be shared across all the business units right or the asset books whereas in scenario 2 uh, uh, it allows to make a partition of the data elements wherein the data elements are accessible only by a particular bu okay because this is you have set it as a bu specific set so the bu1 will share you know a different uh, information compared to bu2 all right so here uh, did you get the did you understand how it works the reference data sharing yes puri puri the saranan puri da ha puri sir நானே ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் உங்களுக்கு எக்ஸல்ல போட்டு காட்டட்டமா உங்களுக்கு ஆம் ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு மேம் ஒரு யா யா ஐ இல் எஸ் சர் எஸ் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ஷேர் தி கேன் யூ ஷேர் தி ஸ்கிரீன் மேம் எஸ் சர் ஒன் செகண்ட் ஒன் செகண்ட் சோ ஐ ஐ திங்க் ஸ்டாப் ஷேர் மேம் எஸ் ஐ ஐ ஸ்டாப் ஷேரிங் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ஸ்டார்ட் ஷேரிங் நவ் யா யா screen yeah it has started the screen i am now able to see screen yes sir it has started uh, we just yes. need to see the excel sheet yeah yeah now now we can see your screen yeah just one yeah no problem uh, uh, mr saranan ha ah, sir ipo namba payment terms irukku liya payment terms payment terms ipo ebs r tool la pathina இப்போ இபிஎஸ் ஆர் டூல்ல அக்ராஸ் ஆல் ஆபரேட்டிங் யூனிட்ஸ்ல உங்களுக்கு டிஸ்பிளே ஆகும் ஓகே 
ஆப்ரேட்டிங் யூனிட் இபிஎஸ் ஆர் டூல ஆப்ரேட்டிங் யூனிட் ஃபியூஷன்ல நம்ம பிசினஸ் யூனிட் சொல்றோம் சோ இந்த ஆப்ரேட்டிங் யூனிட் இப்போ இந்த இந்த பேமெண்ட் டம்ஸ் என்ன இந்த பேமெண்ட் டம்ஸ் இருக்குது எல்லா பிசினஸ் யூனிட் எல்லா ஆப்ரேட்டிங் யூனிட்ல இபிஎஸ் ஆர் டூல உங்களுக்கு டிஸ்ப்ளே ஆகும் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பேமெண்ட் டம்ஸ் payment terms uh, immediate <coughs> for example immediate uh, net 30 30 days within 30 days and net 45 days so idu da payment terms so in the payment terms adavadu namba or கஸ்டமருக்கு செல் பண்றோம் அந்த கஸ்டமர் நம்ம அதுக்குள்ள போய் அல்லது நம்ம ஒரு நம்ம கிட்ட இருந்து நம்ம ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பர்ச்சேஸ் வி பர்ச்சேஸ் சம் மெட்டீரியல் ஃப்ரம் வெண்டார் தென் வி ஹாவ் டு பே அக்கார்டிங் டு தி பேமெண்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஸோ தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் பேமெண்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் பேமெண்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் ஓகே so uh, for, for example one vendor one payment term will be there accordingly but business unit where this three payment terms are showing if uh, ebs r12 it can be accessed it will show it can be accessed okay i will come to fusion fusion la apdi pan apdi access apdi kaatad it will not show fusion la indha maadhiri payment terms screen la enable idu choose pannikka mudiyadhu adukku badhila enna pannanum பிசினஸ் இதுல ரெஃபரன்ஸ் டேட்டா செட் இருக்கு இப்ப ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இந்த பேமெண்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் ஐ வில் டெல் யூ இமிடியட் நெக்ஸ்ட் தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டேஸ் ஓகே இது பேமெண்ட் டேர்ம் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பிசினஸ் யூனிட் இருக்கு சே ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பிசினஸ் யூனிட் சென்னை பெங்களூர் அண்ட் மும்பை த்ரீ பிசினஸ் யூனிட் ஓகே சோ இன் கேஸ் சப்போஸ் சென்னை வாண்ட்ஸ் டு ஹாவ் ஆக்சஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஆக்சஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் பேமெண்ட் டேர்ம் ஓகே access of this in the chennai business unit in the payment term immediate matram enak venum mathadala vena nu sonna apdi apdi pannumbodu first we will create reference data set reference data set for example we will create rds1 create rds1 okay rds1 then that uh, what we will do we will assign assign the payment terms payment terms to rds1 okay then then rds1 will be assigned to will be assigned to will be assigned to chennai pu chennai suppose suppose for example uh, bangalore bangalore they need uh, want to access payment term immediate only then this rds this rds will we, we can make it we can give access to them so now we can give assign rds1 will be assigned to bangalore so here it will be assigned so immediate to bangalore it will be assigned okay same rds1 will be assigned to bangalore suppose in suppose uh, for example Chen, uh, mumbai needs immediate and next 30 days both they need so what we will do we will create 
RDS2 as reference data set, separate data set. Assign, assign the payment term, immediate and next 30 days to RDS2. And RDS2 will be assigned to, to Mumbai. Okay, so now what we'll do, we will do, uh, we will both this thing mm. immediate and uh, next 30 days. Uh, next, uh, next, uh, net, uh, net 30 days will be assigned to Mumbai. So when you, when you access that Mumbai business unit, this 30 days and immediate will, uh, they can only have an access. For Bangalore, they can have access to immediate. Chennai, mm. they will have, have access to immediate. That is, uh, it, the, that is specific to the business unit. Reference data set specific to business unit. This is called reference data set specific to business unit. Suppose, in case, uh, suppose 45 days, next to 45 days, suppose uh, Bangalore needs, I need, uh, Bangalore business unit needs this next 45 days. What we will do, we will, uh, we will assign this to RDS, uh, uh, see, Bangalore, no, uh, Mumbai, uh, suppose Bangalore. So Bangalore, uh, we will assign it to uh, RDS1. We will assign to RDS1. So one uh, RDS unit will be assigned to one business unit. Okay, uh, uh, business unit will have one RDS unit. Okay, so business unit will have one RDS unit. Okay, so in the, uh, but, Mm, uh, uh, but RDS can have multi business unit. Same RDS can be shared to different business. That is called reference data sharing of a uh, particular business unit. Okay. Suppose in case these three terms immediate next 30, 45, if it is a common, if you, if the reference data set, reference data set is common, if it is common then this three payment terms will uh, reference data set is common means not this three terms uh, and, and uh, see in oracle uh, lots of uh, payment terms will be there it is it will be available in oracle uh, nearly 10 to 15 uh, payment terms are there that will be in the common it it will be readily available in the oracle so reference data set if it is a common set then it can be accessed you need not create rds Automatically, you can assign uh, you can assign that common to the business unit. That's all. You need not create reference da uh, data set. Not required. Suppose if you require specific payment terms for a specific unit or two or more business unit, then you have to create a reference data set. Okay. So, so uh, common uh, data set is already available in the Oracle. That is where Madam is telling common and RTS. Yes. Say hi, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll uh, you can stop sharing. I'll start, uh, yeah. start sharing my screen. Yeah. You stopped uh, sharing your screen, sir. Yeah. I'll I'll stop it. Okay. Fine. So, okay. Is everyone able to see uh, my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, moving ahead, uh, then uh, we'll just have a look at the overview of the enterprise structure. Okay. <clears throat> See, the business enterprise structure may differ on the basis of uh, industry, uh, geography, or uh, statutory requirements. Now, now, the main driver of an enterprise structure would be any legal uh, requirements and reporting. Okay, it, it has to adhere to. Planning an enterprise structure is highly critical. Now, here is an example of an enterprise structure named uh, Vision Corporation, uh, which operates in multiple countries. Right, uh, such as the United States, France, and UK. Now, by, by law, yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt you. Yes, sir. That, uh, 
that slide uh, already that uh, EBS versus uh, fusion. Oh, that yes, uh, slide can you able to show because Saravanan is uh, can easily understand that one slide if you just to show and uh, close uh, it. Sir, so I have to search. Oh, search. Uh, uh, okay, okay. No issue, no issue. Uh, so uh, by in this slide itself we can tell. No issue, no issue. Okay, you continue. Okay, I'll, I'll tell him, sir. I'll tell him. See, uh, ah, sir, uh, see uh, in EBS, you didn't have this, uh, you know, we didn't have this division option. Okay. So, this is a new feature that has been uh, added in the Oracle Fusion Enterprise Structure. Right? Hello? Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Saranan? Hi, uh, sir. Saranan, uh, division, uh, this is a uh, new feature, Oracle Fusion. Okay. ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நம்ம இதுல எப்படி என்டர்பிரைஸ் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் இது வரோம் இல்லையா பிரைமரி லெஜர் அப்புறம் லீகல் லீகல் என்டிட்டி பிரைமரி லெஜர் அதெல்லாம் வரோம் இல்லையா பிரைமரி லெஜர் அப்புறம் பிசினஸ் யூனிட் அப்புறம் இன்வென்ட்ரி ஆர்க் வருது இல்லையா இதுல அப்படி இல்ல ஃபர்ஸ்ட் என்டர்பிரைஸ் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் டிவிஷன் வருது அப்புறம் பிரைமரி லெஜர் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் லீகல் என்டிட்டி அதுக்கு அப்புறம் பிசினஸ் யூனிட் அப்புறம் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் சென்டர் இன்வென்ட்ரி ஆர்க் ஓகே அன்னைக்கு நான் எக்ஸாம் காமிச்சிங்களா அந்த ஆர்டர் படி கேக்குறீங்களா ஆமா ஆமா அந்த டிஸ்கஷன் பண்ணோம்ல அந்த கிளாஸ்ல அந்த ஆ மேம் சார் एक्चुअली वी कैन शेयर दैट फर्स्ट वीडियो विद हिम सो ही गिव माय आईडिया ओके सर फाइन ओके सो आई वाज ओके फाइन नाउ विजन कॉर्पोरेशन ऑपरेट्स इन मल्टीपल करेंसी सच एज द यूएस फ्रांस एंड यूके नाउ बाय लॉ दे आर रिक्वायर्ड टू रिपोर्ट देयर फाइनेंशियल अर्निंग्स इन डिफरेंट अकाउंटिंग कन्वेंशंस ओके so here uh, see you can see something called as uh, you know uh, balancing uh, segment uh, against the division uh, now uh, what is a balancing segment now when you define an account you must uh, make one of the segments as balancing segment okay i'll dis uh, discuss about the balancing segment in the upcoming slides i'll just give you a brief idea as to what it is okay now uh, see as i said uh, you must uh, when you once you have an account you must make one of the segments as a balancing segment now the system ensures that the general entries are balanced that is your debit equals a credit uh, for each value of balancing segment now you should make the company uh, you know segment as the balancing segment that you'll uh, tomorrow we'll be showing it to you in the practicals as to you know which uh, Uh, uh segments are you know created uh, like company the division and all that uh, wherein you will get a clear uh, picture of how it works so uh, so that okay then you should make the company segment as a balancing segment so that journal entries always balance by uh, the company all right then uh, you can see here uh, as uh, uh, you know the vision corporation has two divisions which is north american and uh, vision emea emea is nothing but uh, europe uh, european middle east and uh, african countries okay then underneath the uh, north american division uh, you have one primary ledger wherein you are using usd as the currency as a functional currency and you are using the calendar year which is the jan to uh, december then uh, coming to the emea division you have two uh, primary ledgers one is for france and the other is for the uk wherein uh, for the france company uh, you have uh, you know uh, the uh, currency as euros and again the calendar as the calendar year as jan to december then in the uk you have uh, great british pound uh, the again the calendar years is jan to uh, december okay in the time okay then underneath uh, the primary ledger we have legal entities all right now legal entities by law they are required to report their financial earnings in different accounting conventions or methods so a good strategy would be to create legal entities by country that's why they have like you know uh, two legal uh, entities under the north american division and two under the emea which is the france and uk so underneath these uh, legal entities you will be having your business units which will be taking care of the day to day transactions of your legal entities okay and we have a corporate uh, bu which is the shared uh, you know uh, service center so this what does this do the, the shared service uh, business unit can carry out processes for all legal entities okay such as the procurement or the payments for example 
uh, this shared services strategy has a lot of advantages for the you know a company such as they get a lot of discounts on purchasing and payments and also for overall simplification of the process this is basically how the you know uh, enterprise structure in the fusion works right so tomorrow anyways uh, once we uh, create a company and everything you'll come to know you know how the whole uh, structure works during the setup process right so any doubts here and as uh, sir mentioned the distribution center is called the inventory organization right okay so fine and any doubts here no ma'am okay shall we move ahead karuna ungalku karuna ungalku clear ah iruka ah the legal entity in the rent business unit rent is like sir ah ma'am balance statement adu or reason ore ore legal entity na varum sir ah ma'am he is asking yeah. vision uh, us inc primary ledger calendar year under that uh, why two legal entities see, are that is maybe one legal entity yeah. ah. see, see this is a north american division so you can have this as a you know a canada, a canada wherein you are using the us dollar currency and one can be the american Okay, so that is an option uh, that the company takes in. That is what is my understanding of what I uh, got through the text. Uh, Ma'am, couldn't able to follow. Uh, just no. Uh, uh, yeah, nee, what I, I mentioned I was yeah, what I mentioned uh, was see they can have uh, uh, two legal entities and the same okay. business unit for both the legal entities. All right. So okay. now this legal entity can be in a country. This is a whole of North American uh, division, right? So in North America, there are okay. so many countries. So one country can be in Canada, or the other can be in the USA. Okay. In the Canadian, also you can have your uh, US dollar as the currency. Okay. okay. Getting my point. <laughs> and this is what okay. the text i got it on uh, you know the r12 uh, sorry the r13 of uh, oracle fusion so th this is how the okay. explanation they had given in that yeah that is uh, what you are telling is uh, the north america is a big uh, okay okay yeah, in that uh, two 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 legal entities wherein they are operating in two different countries uh okay okay, okay. So, anyways, no, no. I think uh, I I'll get a clarity about this again. I'll share that text with you, sir, so I can I I think I'll be able to explain it in a bit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So okay, okay. yeah. So, anyways, uh, sir, then I'll Karana. get back to you uh, tomorrow Karana. on this. Okay. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, we will get back to you. Okay. We will oh, let you know. Okay. We will give you a cl clarity on this. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, fine. Uh, then. Uh, we'll uh, move into the next slide which is the prerequisites of uh, sorry flow uh, of the enterprise structure setup okay see here basically uh, as we know the common uh, uh, you know setup of an enterprise structure is like you create a legal entity wherein you have uh, your business unit underneath and underneath the balancing you need to create the balancing segments for the legal entities okay so basically this legal entity uh, is a recognized party with rights and responsibilities given by a legislation okay, which has the right to own property and uh, the responsibility to account for itself then comes the business units where it takes care of your day-to-day uh, -day transactions of your legal entity right now this uh, uh, bu can process transactions uh, on behalf of many legal entities okay so as i said in the previous screen this one bu like here this one bu can process both your legal entities okay can have the transactions on behalf of your us one legal entity as well as us two legal entity you getting my point yes, sir uh, uh, sir uh, seturaman sir okay. tell me tell me ma'am sir in this see as a business unit you know can uh, uh, process transactions on behalf of many legal entities so yeah, yeah, that not north american division has decided to have one business unit for its two legal entities okay maybe okay, okay. Uh, for just for the uh, you know the law purpose they have created two under the north american that was my understanding as in maybe as uh, sarana it get enough uh, they might create sarana actually uh, North North America is a big country, yeah. So for for that legal purposes, they would have created two legal entities. Okay, 
So okay. that is uh, depends on the business requirement. That is why you ask to under. You are getting like a doubt. If a madam clarify, please. Next slide, please. 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 So, on the idea that they are going to be able to bring two legal entities, they are bifurcated for their business requirements. Under that ah. two legal entities, one business unit will be operating. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now, 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 okay. Anyways, uh, moving uh, ahead. Uh, would uh, hello? Are you able to hear me? Yeah. yeah yes, yeah. ma'am. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. So uh, usually, a uh, business unit has a, uh, a manager, the strategic objectives, and a level of autonomy and a responsibility for its profit and loss uh, uh, of the business. Right. Then is the uh, sub ledgers. Now, whatever transactions happen uh, uh, in the business units, it goes and gets recorded in the sub ledgers. now uh, uh, sub ledger basically captures all the detailed uh, transactional information okay such as the supplier invoice or uh, the customer payments uh, or the asset acquisitions etc okay from here the transactional balances are transferred to the ledger and they're posted here through the sla okay now sub ledger accounting method is one of the uh, accounting conventions okay that uh, uh, has been introduced in uh, ebs r13 and uh, followed uh, in fusion as well all right so then you can see here the you know uh, we define the balancing segments that we'll uh, show you to you in uh, tomorrow's class like you'll be uh, uh, you know as different segments and you give values to it then comes the chart of accounts again wherein you define your cost centers your natural accounts are like you know like uh, the asset uh, expense liability etc and your other segments right okay so you understood the process here how it uh, how the whole setup happens uh, sarunan mm sir ungalku puriyada and ebs flow ma ஆ அந்த மாதிரி ஆ புரியுது அதே தானே ஓகே அந்த சப் லெக்சர் அக்கவுண்டிங் மெத்தட் EBS R2 ல இருக்கு இல்லையா இன்ஜின் அதே தான் இது அதே தான் அதே காப்பி ஓகே மேம் புரியதா மேம் नेहा மேம் எஸ் சார் மேம் எஸ் சார் எஸ் சார் சொல்ல கூடாது ஏதாவது ஒரு கேக்கணும் டவுட் கேக்கணும் கிளாரிட்டினா அத திருப்பி தயவு செய்து கூச்சப்படாதீங்க எத்த இப்போ எடுக்கிறதுல ஏதாவது ஒரு ஈவன் ஒரு small doubt and that kuda kelunga dayu seidu ena we are ready to clarify ena accumulate pannadinga doubts accumulate panna next class subsequent classes you find find it difficult okayla so idu parunga suppose ungalku edavadhu or clarity ungalku puriyillana kuda mr saravana nerkkarar unnum clarity kudupar ena avaru accounting daily transactions avaru audit idilla kuda idu panni irukkarar live examples correct ah ungalku unnum clarity ah kuda kudukkuradhukku irukkarar okay va So, okay. So, now, madam, or kang sir or sirona na kare. Ungle ko unno nalla clarity yung kariko. Okay ngla. Dahil sa ite doubts ay accumulate pani kare. Okay. Okay. Inno ma'am, we are ready to kanga. Out dek ngla. Kangar sir. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, ma'am, one minute. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, follow that, sir. What, what did the sirona say? I, I could not follow that. Kangar sir. Oh, oh. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. You. What I told. Ah, uh, no. Even he mentioned.